he sort of puts all the answers out and goes, how would you rate yourself as a decision maker? And I'm like, come on, I'm like a third year law student. Like, yeah, come on, we know how to make decisions. And he wipes us out. Uh, let's talk about one of my uh, one of my case studies that I did on this. There's a woman uh, named Hillary who had founded a company. It was called ProLab, a Texas company. And she brought into the company both her mother and her husband. Okay. And so this is in some ways playing with fire in the extreme. Phil Knight was the founder of Nike. Early on, Phil Knight tried to go public and failed at doing it. And to me, it was the biggest blessing. It was the biggest bracha for him because he would have had all of these things that you were talking about. Losing control of the strategic direction and the vision, possibly even getting fired by the board. I switched my position on that. I used to think when I was younger um, that it's all about the idea and the right idea wins. And then as I get older and I start seeing the companies develop, I, I tend to have moved into the other category. And by the way, this is one of the other ways that founders tend to lie to themselves. Right. Want both. <laughs> Why should I have to choose? Right. I don't have to make trade-offs. Right. Rich and, they, and king right. is what I want to do. pick the one person that they think they know about that, that has it everything. Yeah, but, but Zuck did it. But yeah. Bill Gates did it. And that tweet was a quote from Rob Noach Zatal. Failure is not the opposite of success, but it's precondition. That's our natural inclination is for us to go and uh, split mm -hmm. it 50-50. And yet, we'll get into some of the research that suggests that that is hazardous. Very famous founder now named Jack Dorsey who was the original founder CEO at Twitter. But he, as Twitter was becoming a rocket ship, was given the message by Evan Williams, key board member, key early investor, key early co-founder on it. Jack, you are not the person for this. Nobody thinks that, that social knowledge is negative territory, right? It's actually your buddy is the worst guy unless you can prove otherwise. So Dean, it's great to see you again. And what kind of questions did we get?